is Becky here and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are listening slash watching on YouTube, you'll notice that there's no actual video to go with this podcast episode today. And that is because I'm currently lying in bed because I did my back in last night. Um, so I don't look glamorous at all. I'm still in my pajamas. I'm currently in bed with my weighted blanket on, surrounded by teacups, water, and I have my aromatherapy diffuser on. So if you hear like a really random noise, that's what that is. And I just didn't feel like showing my face today, but I didn't want to let you guys down. So I thought, hey, I'll still do this podcast, but I will just record it from my bed because that's that's what we can do nowadays you know my phone has recording capability I have my headphones on so it's all good I'm still recording to you guys um it's really weird because I'm still doing like hand signals and moving my hands around even though I'm not actually talking to a screen or to anyone apart from my bedroom wall uh so yeah this is a new experience um but thank you ever so much for tuning back in I hope you are enjoying my podcast and the episodes I've done for you recently and I wasn't too sure what to talk about in this episode and there are some episodes that like I said to you I do plan sometimes I don't plan them um because sometimes I quite like the organic growth of them and where they're where they're going to come from and what's in my brain at the time but actually I thought actually this is a really good topic to discuss and I briefly talked about it on my blog which is on my website which is at beckylawrence.co.uk and my blog comes under Becky's Bants under there as well and I thought today would be really good to sort of touch base on expectations and the expectations we put on ourselves the expectations society has on us and how we can kind of just take a back seat from those expectations and put ourselves into a better headspace and mental awareness of what is really expected expected from us so that's kind of what I want to talk about today so for those of you who have read the blog I'm just going to kind of recap what I said on there for those of you who are who haven't read the blog and basically one of uh, my my friend and I were having a serious live chat way way like months and months ago when lockdown had eased a little we were able to kind of go to each other's houses and I went round and we had a takeaway and we just had a live chat with some wine as you do and we started to discuss how we seem to live our lives by expectations and the ones we put on ourselves and the ones that are put on us from family, friends and society. And as you all know, I hit 30 last year and I really felt like I got hit massively by expectations and where I should be in my life and what I should be doing and what I have achieved and what I haven't achieved. And, you know, according to society and social media, by now I should be thinking about getting married, buying a house, having children, all of that stuff. And I was like, whoa, we we are totally not there yet. I am definitely not at that place. You know, if anything, my music started to pick up, my teaching started to go really well, my coaching. If anything, I just want to kind of slow down and, and enjoy all of that for a bit before I think about you know kids and and all that stuff and let's face it five fluff nuggets is enough for anyone right now and I enjoy sleep I like my sleep that's just me being selfish but I'm definitely not ready to bring a child into this world especially the way it is at the moment that's just me that's just me personally and I just think about like what expectations happened back in our parents day and the done thing was to kind of find a job buy a house get married and then start sprouting the children And I'm not saying this is wrong. And some people are 100% happy with this. That's the life they chose. That's where they want to go. That's their journey. But to me, it just seems like if someone deviated from that or hell broke loose and they found themselves the target of gossip or, oh, look, she's not married yet or she hasn't had kids or she keeps, you know, job hopping and, and all of this sort of stuff. 
And I think nowadays there's so much conflict around what we should and what we shouldn't do to conform to other people's expectations. And, you know, we, ha we seem to have so much freedom nowadays. You know, we can take time out of jobs to see the world, become YouTube stars, etc. Yet we still get asked, when are you going to get married? When will you buy a house? And the question I want to ask you is, is it actually anyone else's business what you do with your life? Like, really, just think about that for a second. Is it anyone's business what you do with your life? I mean, it, that's quite a powerful question. And I know friends and family may ask these questions out of curiosity and compassion. But again, it's the expectation that that's what the next steps in our lives should be. So, you know, personally for me, I, I feel like I'm in a great place with my career and, and with my relationship. Um, you know, if anything, I feel like sometimes I wish kind of Wayne and I had met later, like years and years ago. And I was in a better financial situation where we both potentially would be buying a house right now. But again, I just have to think how grateful I am and where I am now. Like we live in a rented property, a really nice rented property with a great landlord. We have a roof over our head, which is a huge thing. You know, some people don't even have that. So I'm super blessed that we have that. And yeah, the house will come in time. You know, we are going to have to go after it. We're going to have to save really hard for it. And I know that it will mean so much more because we have had to save really hard for it. So it's going to mean so much when we physically get the keys to our dream house in our hands. And yeah, I, like so many of us, especially as a musician, put so much expectation on myself. And we all do, you know, especially after last year. I did have a pretty damn good year last year with all the releases that came out, turning 30, being nominated for Artist of the Year and getting a number one. You know, I thought, God, these are these are all really huge milestones and I've achieved it all in one year. Like, now where do I see myself going? Like, what, where can I expect myself to be next year or the year after? And obviously we've come into another year, into another lockdown. So all of those expectations that I did plan for myself coming into this year have all been washed away again. And again, I'm like, but did those expectations really matter? Like, again, they're just expectations that I've put on myself. Coming back to right now, I'm currently sat in bed in pain because of my back. And I had so much I wanted to get planned to do today. I had so much I'd put on myself that I expected myself to achieve today. But this back pain is just throwing a huge curveball and I'm unable to do it. And... I just have to realise that it's okay and just try and be okay with the situation. And at the, at the same time, like we have been dealt with a lot of free time at the moment because of the pandemic. So I have time to get these things done. It might just take a, a day or two later, but I can still get what I want to get done, done without putting the expectation on that I have to do it right now. Like we're not I mean, I, I would argue to say that there are superheroes in this world, you know, the nurses and the doctors and the people working on the vaccine, all of those amazing people. But they will all come to a point where they need a break, they need to rest. You know, we're not indispensable. We have to give ourselves a mental and physical break from things. And sometimes when my body starts to hurt or my back starts to hurt, I think that is kind of almost a spiritual message for me to just take check take stock chill out for a minute take a step back because this week's been pretty intense from a work point of view as in like my real life job and from a music point of view so I've just had to just take a step back and having back pain has well that's that's what's happened I've had to take a step back I can't do anything today so I just want you all to kind of maybe just give yourself 10 minutes today tomorrow whenever you can find the free time to maybe write down the expectations that you feel are being put on you from society from society from social media and the expectations you're putting on yourself and whether these are healthy expectations whether you need to be putting this on yourself whether there's you know some you can kind of just relax a little and just you know maybe don't put them on yourselves so that's kind of my message today. Again, this is going to be another kind of fairly shortish um, podcast. 
I mean, I could ramble on about all sorts of things, but I kind of want to keep this on topic. But yeah, just I just want you to just give yourselves a couple of minutes out of your day to just check in with yourself, check in if there are any expectations you're putting on yourself, especially in this pandemic, we do have to be kind to ourselves. So yeah, just please take it easy, take care of yourselves, and I will be back next week with another episode of Becky's Bants. I totally forgot to tell you what tea I'm drinking. I'm currently actually not drinking any tea, but I did have a really nice coffee this morning. I know, totally off brand, but I do have a slight guilty pleasure with the, is it Nescafe? Yeah, Nescafe do a whole range of dairy-free sachets. So they do coconut, latte, almond, and oat. And my favorite thing on a Friday and a Saturday morning is to have an oat latte, an oat latte, with some warm milk and then hazelnut syrup in it. That's, yeah, and that's what I had this morning in bed. So yeah, that was what I had. So really hope you've enjoyed whatever tea or coffee you're drinking. But yeah, now I'm currently drinking water, having a sniff of my diffuser. I'm just going to try and chill out and rest my back as much as possible. But take care of yourselves, and I will speak to you next week with another episode of Becky's Brad's Tea and Talk. Bye-bye, guys.